all right welcome back uh, this video has been popping up on my uh, recommended screen for quite some time now i see so many people have reacted to it it made me curious obviously uh, i wanted to see it for myself but then obviously this was a better way to do it to react to it the strangest thing is that he was so remorseful he he seems uh, so remorseful and so apologetic but the strangest thing here is that he was impulsive so impulsive when he slapped the man but he couldn't have made an impulsive from the heart apology video it had to be staged and it's it's mind boggling and the other thing that you see here is that it has it already has 3.5 million views just imagine the kind of traffic that is coming to his uh, youtube channel and youtube and social media is the next big thing great for him right you make an event you follow up it with another video and then people react to it you get more attention then you do something more it's superb genius i mean amazing how people how people have commercialized everything even the basic basic human things it's it's incredible all right let's start it's been a minute over the last few months i've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work what is this personal work first of all i have to really understand that i mean what do you mean by personal work you do whatever you want to do the end is the same whatever is required to be done whatever is the correct thing to do you have to do that you slap them on stage apologize on the stage done this is what you're doing right now and he was coherent enough to appall to receive the award to party afterwards to make a great acceptance speech he was coherent enough to do all of that but to make the apology video he will need months of work what work are you doing you asked a lot of fair questions that i wanted to take some time to answer yeah they were they were mathematical mathematical problems calculus yeah integration differentiation you need to first learn and understand and then you will solve right that's that's correct ah performance right there another oscar right the breathing out i am really sorry. such an amazingly edited staged video amazingly edited right to just create that environment of feeling sorry not that he is feeling sorry you get the feeling that he is feeling sorry superb all right he's going to play golf breathe out breathes out again he's going to play golf perfectly suited and booted hat on white and beige what color is this t-shirt and amazing he's going to play golf afterwards uh, let's see Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? I had to do months of work um, first. I was fogged out by that point. It's 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 all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um and the mesh the message that came back is that uh he's not ready to talk. And yeah. Fogged out but coherent enough to accept the award. to make a great oscar, uh, oscar acceptance speech to party afterwards amazing and chris when he reaches out to him chris is not ready to talk so what should i do i should make a video so that the entire world can see how apologetic i am anyway i have done months of work i have traveled to india i have all these photos published everywhere people have seen me going on these spiritual trips so hopefully people accept that i am apologetic Hopefully he will apologize to Chris here. And uh, when he is, he will he will reach out. Reach out. Um so I will I will say to you uh Chris, I apologize to you. Uh my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Exactly. Whenever he is ready to talk, why do you need to make the video? Yeah, yeah. Three point five million views. I get. It. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. So, an interview. so apology to Chris was how long? Five seconds or ten seconds. I want to apologize to Chris. That's just one statement. Five seconds or six seconds. That's it. It's a five-minute video, six-minute video. Five seconds of apology to Chris. Forget him. Let's move on to other people. Interview that Chris's mother did, and. You know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment? Nobody got hurt. It was an amusing thing for everybody. It was just another another event that grabbed a lot of eyeballs, probably made Oscars popular also. Nobody got hurt. Only Chris got hurt. And the fair thing to do was to just lie just stand there and let him slap you that's all that was the only fair thing to do or at least mention it in the in that entire day at least once you had the youtube channel but no and the strangest thing is that the way he talks i used to love this way of talking you know the way he enunciates and pauses i used to love when i watched his movies earlier and i was a huge fan uh, right till 2019 or 2020 before I heard all of his stories uh, about his personal life what was going on and it just turned me off I, I can't watch his movies anymore but I used to love uh, I'm Legend uh, Pursuit of Happiness uh, Hitch amazing incredible what an actor he was I thought that he was just the perfect actor but now obviously all that is shattered so I want to Apologize to Chris's mother. Mother. Apologize to Chris's family, family. Uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, it was my man, but I, this, I this couldn't is, care. This is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and and the complexities of what happened what nuances and complexities you went up on stage and you slapped somebody what is the nuance and complexity there and you have to apologize to him that's it there's no nuance all this work and self-work and personal work what you do all of that and then you reach the same point where you have to apologize what what is the work that you're doing in in that moment um and i'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now but i can say to all of you there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment there's but no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or or insults but this is the right way to make the apology in front of everybody getting traffic on your youtube channel uh, staging it with all those perfect questions perfectly worded answers after jada rolled her eyes did she tell you to do something <laughs> no um it's like you know i'm i made a choice on my own from my own experiences from my history with chris jada had nothing to do with it uh, i'm sorry babe um, i'm gonna say sorry to my my kids and, and my family privately in a room the heat that no. i brought on all of us uh, to all my fellow nominees you know this is a community it's like i won because you you this is unreal actually it feels like an award acceptance speech and thanks to all my fellow nominees the community who voted for me I, where are we we can't even apologize in private we have to make a video and an event out of it and it has to have a lot of attention from everybody it has to be dissected uh, 
and we have to use big words like personal work growth nuances apologizing to everybody except to the person uh, who matters unreal voted for me and it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and and tarnished tarnished your moment um it was your moment whose moment is he talking about i can still see quest loves eyes you know it it happened on quest loves uh, award and you know quest love it's like i'm 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 sorry really isn't sufficient what would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down um let who down but you slapped a grown man 50 year old man on stage you are yourself 50 whatever who who are you letting down nobody and he's reading off a prompter so there's two things one um disappointing people is my central trauma this word needs to be banned this word trauma and the other word is motivation i think these two words if we ban i definitely feel the lot of our problems will go away everybody has a trauma everybody has a trauma grown man hugely successful has everything but he has a trauma yeah of course i mean there is a side there is a human side to you where you know you are you are not um, at ease with lot of emotions that that's understandable but terming everything as trauma is a great word um i hate when i let people down um so it it hurts uh it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know i didn't live up to uh people's image and impression of me and the work i'm trying to do is i am deeply remorseful and i'm trying to be remorseful without being a you see where the world has come to i am trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself you are remorseful you are apologetic you are sorry you you feel remorse such a heavy word but you are not ashamed you're trying to be not ashamed how will you ever change in this world if you are remorseful you will be ashamed the biggest irony here is that he may actually mean all these things he may actually mean all these things he may actually believe that what he's doing is right and this is the correct way and this is the correct approach this is how it should be done and he may have the most correct intentions but look at it i'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed how will you feel remorse how will you ever change but all right don't trouble me whatever is the right feeling i will say that and you just take care of the other part ashamed of myself right i'm human and i'm human i made a mistake and i'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit um so i would say to those people i know it was confusing i know it was shocking um but i i promise you i am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love what is this putting light into the world or being light and i see this everywhere what does it mean like is he like is he an electric bulb what does this mean putting light and love and joy into the world what does it even mean this is this is so strange this is so strange i hope the comment sections are better and joy into the world and 
you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Five seconds he took Chris's name. After that, he said sorry to his mother, to his father, to all the fellow nominees, to all the community of people, to viewers. <laughs> this is a sham. In, in a six minute video, he has said sorry to Chris for like five seconds. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing what. And the worst thing is that he actually believes that this is the right thing to do. How do you even correct that? You can't even be angry at someone when somebody is behaving like this. And he's a grown man, 50 years old or whatever, 54 years old. Let's look at the comment section. The first 20 seconds of the video are, amos, are amazing. Walking into a room, sitting in a chair, sighing. Yeah? This man has studied the art of YouTube apologies. Amazing. Exactly. You can slap someone on impulse, but you can't say sorry to someone on impulse. It has to be staged, edited, with proper camera, golf clothes. Can't help but feel these questions were carefully selected and answered and answers carefully vetted by a sizable PR team. Yeah, but it, it will bring so much traffic, so much money, so much attention. I think they will recover all the cost, all the money that they will pay to the PR team. This video feels more like a damage control exercise than a draw apology. It could be a damage control exercise, obviously. And as I said, I mean, he could actually believe that he can, he's making an apology, but look at the way. Will is so lucky to have Jada's boyfriends as the camera crew. <laughs> All men make mistakes, but a good man yields when he knows his course is wrong and repairs the evil. The only crime is pride. Okay, a good supporting comment and great. There should be a counterpoint of view always. So that's, that's good. Good to see somebody, you know, supporting what he's doing. When Will said it's apologizing time, I cried tears of joy. Mobius would be proud. <laughs> I actually love that movie, by the way. Love uh, Jared Leto's movies. Will could really use that rewind button right now. <laughs> For Chris or others to see, there's a huge difference between an apology and being sorry. An apology is expressing and acknowledging that you made a mistake, but to be sorry is truly feeling sorrow for your actions, feeling empathy towards the person you hurt. Chris is still hurting, but he's recovering. He will address Will when he's ready. This kind of thing can't be rushed, forced or forced because people heal differently. This The same goes for Will. And the same goes for Chris. He's just getting more and more attention. Leave the man alone. This dude needed a whole production set to do something he could have done with his phone, camera, sitting by the side of the road. Yeah. I love how he's apologizing to everyone but the person he needs to, right? The only reason he's apologizing apologizing is because of the impact it had on its career. Not because he accepted what he did was wrong and actually regrets what he did. It's even funnier considering he went from this chill, funny guy to this exactly. He was just amazing in pursuit of happiness. Hitch, I am legend. He was just such a super funny actor in Hitch. I thought that was the best role ever. Also, why is it necessary to get this whole setup camera crew for something that could have been recorded on your phone? If you're going to make an apology this dramatic, at least do it right. <laughs> People are ruthless. This apology is as moving as the movie Morbius. Truly a thing that exists. So many references to Morbius. I love that movie. It's a shame the apology video didn't start off with. Now this is a story all about my life. Got All about how my life got flipped turned upside down. Yeah. I really can't see this as a truly sincere apology, though I think he really regrets his actions. But this apology is definitely as moving as the emotions of Brie Larson in Captain Marvel. <laughs> People are ruthless. There's a big difference between I apologize and I'm sorry. He said he's sorry to literally everyone but Chris. Awesome product placement as well. Truly a genuine person. Yeah. 
what would have been the appropriate reaction on your part in hindsight as shitty as this happening is thanks for all the hilarious hilarious memes it spawned ah memes yeah classic cinematic set with a big sigh truly one of the apologies of all time so superbly put yeah such a great apology video uh, in future if i make a mistake this is the route i'm taking i'm going to hire a film camera crew sit down put on my best golf clothes i'm more of a basketball person so put on my best basketball uh, clothes maybe i'm in one right now yeah um, put on my best basketball clothes and just go for it with all these <sighs> looking into the distance sighing and breathing in and just reading of the teleprompter i think i'm going to do all of it let me know your comments this was a great video for me i really thoroughly enjoyed and and i'm i'm laughing at it actually the, the with the situation we are in right now something as remorseful or yeah it, it should have been behind closed doors i don't even know maybe i'm wrong who knows let me know in the comments and i'll talk to you in another video